windy windy. I really don't miss these mags. Like Airs the mags you don't miss the airsoft around. maracas? Holy high caps, Batman. Hey everybody, welcome. Today we're looking at the Full Metal AK-47 Kalishnikov 60th Anniversary Riz AEG Airsoft Rifle. And this gun has quite the historical legacy with over 100 million AKs in circulation worldwide. This one is provided to us for review by Airsoft Station, where you can find it for $152. It has a lot of the traditional stylings, but this one has an integrated rail system, which has always been something that steered us clear of the brand. But this one has pick rails right out of the box, as well as a long list of other included features, which we will go over all of, but first, Let's see what's in the box. Oh, what's in the box? Let's have a look at this guy. This is the 60th anniversary Kalishnikov AK-47. It's Russia. Is this the guy himself? Mikhail T. Kalishnikov. What a handsome man. All right, let's see what's in the box. We got our owner's manual, which is strangely reads backwards from right to left. And we're going to have to break into the cellophane. Even though this guy is going to go back to Airsoft Station, there's no way for us to review it unless we take it out. We have got a long 8.4 volt MIM battery, so 8.4 as opposed to 9.6. You probably want to go up to a 9.6 for sure. Looks like we have got a uh, sling, some tools, standard wall charger, high capacity winding polymer magazine, and it does come with two. So that's a, that's a plus. Ugh. It has got some weight to it. It is metal. Got a flip up foregrip, which is pretty cool. Flip down, flip up. The uh, flip out buttstock. You know, there's no button for it. It just goes, you just pull it down and then it rotates it around. Yeah, it's um, it's definitely, the, the receiver is definitely all metal. It's got some serious weight to it. Got a little piece of pick rail on the sides here. Pick rail up top. It definitely looks cool. I like the fact that you've got some pick rail on here. One of the things I've never really liked about the AK-47s and keeps me from playing with them is that you can't mount anything to it. You can't mount a sight, can't mount my cameras, obviously, but this one you could, so pretty cool. Let's put in our mag. There you go, it's pretty cool. All right, we probably pointed out most of this looking in the box, but let's run down the features real quick just to be sure. It does have a full metal body, receiver cover, and one piece barrel assembly. And up front, you've got the traditional triangle sight with your emblazoned orange tip. You've got a metal ring style sling point at the barrel and left side of the receiver. You have traditional metal flip up AK style sights with the sliding adjustment. You've got a polymer folding foregrip on the lower pick rail. And it comes with this 550 round winding polymer AK high cap magazine, the release for which is ambidextrous by virtue of where it's positioned. And of course you got your 60th anniversary branding, which is nice. And then you have the folding polymer buttstock. It just pulls down to release and then folds away nicely. And this is a feature I do really love, especially if you want to take this into CQB, it makes it nice and compact. You got your classic style AK fire selector for safe, semi and fully automatic. And of course the charging handle does come back to reveal a slider style hop-up system. As we mentioned, you have a polymer handguard that does have pick rails on top, bottom, and even a small little bit on the left and the right. The metal receiver cover pops off to open up your battery compartment and then takes a bit of a pop to get it back on. Now inside this AG has a full metal version 3 gearbox and durable steel gears, but let's take a minute to talk about that battery compartment. The gun comes with an 8.4 volt NIM stick style battery. Now naturally we want to baseline everything we review on an 11.1 to compare apples to apples, but even getting a 9.6 volt NIM battery into the compartment here is quite a challenge. It's just too long. The gun is clearly manufactured to have a perfect fitting compartment for the rounded stick style 8.4 volt NIM battery that comes with it. So that's what we had to go with. Now that being said, you may be able to find a thousand mAh or so small 11.1 volt LiPo that you could fit into this compartment and close properly, but it might take some searching on the internet to get that. Now the guy advertises it shoots 360 feet per second, so let's go see how it performs right now. What's it shooting? 
340. 345? I mean, it's, it's 340s. It's 342, 343, I think 345. Okay. What is that? 11? Yeah. 11.6? That's kind of anemic, but of course it has got an 8.4 volt battery in it. You chewed the crap up out of this one with that AK. I'm just that good of a shot. It's just like, I'm just that good. All right, guys, so the gun actually shoots pretty great for 152. It's in the 340s FPS, so you can fold that stock in and take it to CQB all day long. We do want to hear what you think of it in the comments below, and we also want you to join us on our airsoft journey by hitting that subscribe button. But before all that, here is Soggy Number Two's last thoughts on this SEMA 60th anniversary Kalashnikov AK-47. AK is fun. It shoots really slow, but I feel like it'd be really good. Yeah, the, a, the AK shoots really slow because it's got an 8.4 volt battery in it. Well, one. For how long and how heavy it is, I, I can picture carrying it around some of it. Well, you could get a sling. That's all I it's not that heavy. Let me no, see. it's very top heavy. Let me see. It's very top heavy. The oh. front of it is very heavy. It's very top heavy. I mean, we, we have heavier ones. Yeah, but the heavy ones are better. I mean, for how good it is. A little heavy. It's a little heavy. For how, like, it's like good. It's just a good gun. Okay. I'm gonna have to go ask them to take that dog in. Oh, hey guys. We hope you liked the video. And you know, if you did, we've got a whole bunch more. In fact, there's a couple right here. You can look at this one or this one right there. Or you know what? If you don't want to miss any of these, you could go ahead and subscribe by hitting that little round button right there. I mean, you don't have to, but I'd like you to. I, I do put a lot of hard work into these videos, but you know, you can do whatever you want. It takes a lot of time, but 